welcome to Java Fundamentals with Paul Chandler. This course is brought to you by javavideos.net. Module 2, Variables. In this module, we're going to learn about the different types of variable. We're going to learn about the naming rules and the conventions. We'll learn about primitive variables, data conversion, wrapping classes, and finally auto boxing. Variables are placeholders that store state. These are areas in the memory that are used to store values that can then be retrieved again later by the program. All variables have to be declared before use. When you declare a variable, you are defining what type the variable is in other words, what type of data will be stored in the variable. So here is an example of a variable declaration. The first part is the type of variable. In this case, it is of type int. The next part is the variable name. We will come on to the naming rules and the conventions later on. Next is an optional assignment. This part can be ignored if you wish, but if you do, the variable needs to have been assigned a value before it is first read. If there is no assignment, there is no default set. Its value is undefined, and if this happens, a compiler error will be generated. The final part of the statement is the statement terminator. This is a semicolon, and this is used to signify at the end of every statement not just variable declarations. Multiple variables can also be declared on the same line. All variables though must have the same type. So in this instance, length and width are both being declared as type int. Different assignments can also be made within one line. So here we have five being assigned to length and four being assigned to width. But be warned, in this instance, length is not set to 4, it has not assigned any value and is still undefined. Java is what's known as a strongly typed language. That means the variables will only accept specific values of the type the variable has been defined as. For example, it is invalid to try and store a string into a variable declared as an integer. The Java programming language has several types of variable, and we will now go through each of these in turn. You may find some of the terms slightly confusing at the moment. Do not worry too much about this. It will become much clearer after modules three and four, which cover objects and classes. It may be worth revisiting this video after completing these modules. Parameters. Parameters are variables passed into methods. We've seen an example of this in the main method from module one. Here we have a method called doIt. This is passed a variable called value, that it is declared as an int. This type of variable is called a parameter and can only be used within the method. Local variables are variables defined within the body of a method. They can only be accessed within the block of code they were defined in. Instance variables are variables, or fields as are known, defined within a class. When an object is created, a new area of memory is set aside to store the fields within the object. This allows each object to contain different values for the field. We will see examples of instance variables during module four, which deals with classes in much more depth. Class variables are also fields defined within a class, but these are only have one instance of a field per class. So all the instance objects of the class refer to the same piece of memory. Hence, if an object changes the value of the field, that change is reflected in all the objects. 